Hello, and welcome to a series of videos on the model-driven CLI, which is being introduced in release 16.0.01. This video introduces the output modifiers in the MD CLI. Some commands like the show, info, compare or tree commands, may produce a lot of output. Output modifiers provide a consistent method to change the way the output from a command is displayed. When a command produces more than a single screen of output, the output may be paginated. The more environment variable determines whether pagination is enabled. This behavior can be bypassed with a no more output modifier which prevents the output from being paginated. The output from a specific command may also be filtered using the match output modifier. In its simplest form, the match operator can be used to filter the output for a specific keyword. The match operator supports a number of options. The post lines, for example, can be used to display a number of lines, following a matching line. This is useful, for instance, to display the main properties of each port. The count output modifier displays the number of lines in the output. In this example, it counts the number of lines changed in the candidate configuration data store. An important aspect of output modifiers is that they can be concatenated. In this example we use the concatenation of the match and the count operator to display the number of OSPF routes in the routing table. The real power of output modifiers is revealed when the match operator is used with regular expressions. The SROS supports a subset of the POSIX extended regular expressions, similar to the Linux egrep command. When the pattern that is used with the match operator is enclosed in single quotes, it is interpreted as a regular expression. In a first example, using regular expressions, we apply a bracket expression where the output is filtered for any of the characters within the bracket expression. A bracket expression can be used in combination with the range operator to produce a range of values to match for. In this example we use a specific range of ports to be matched. The alternate operator is used to match against any of the alternatives. Expression anchors can be used to match a specific pattern only at the beginning or the end of a line. In this example, we display only the lines that are removed in the candidate configuration data store. Those lines start with a dash. Repetition operators are used to indicate the repetition of a pattern for a specific number of times. There are multiple combinations possible. In this example we filter the DSCP code points for the assured forwarding class. The two, between curly braces, indicates that the letters A and F should be followed by exactly two numbers in the range 1 to 4. Regular expression patterns can be grouped by using parentheses. The search pattern in this example is made up of exactly two consecutive occurrences of the one slash sequence. We can combine all these previously introduced constructs to form more complex patterns. As a last example, we use a pattern that displays only those processes that have a CPU or capacity usage above 1%. This brings us to the end of this video. Please watch additional videos, or read the documentation for more information on the model-driven CLI.